Today I'm going to show you how to save your photos in Photoshop, specifically how to save files as a JPEG. Let's get to it. So here I have an image and it has several layers on it over in the layers panel. I started out with a JPEG file. And so if I were to just do a command or control S to save this photo, I'm going to get the option to save it as a PSD file. Now there's nothing wrong with that. And you probably would want to do this if this is something that maybe you want to keep and revisit later uh, to make more changes or continue editing and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. I'm gonna click save and this will save that file as a PSD. So now that I have a PSD file, which is just a Photoshop document with layers. If I do that command or control S again, I'm not getting that little window pop up asking me how to save my file. So instead what you want to do is you want to go up to file, save as. Now what this does is it's going to save a copy of the image in whatever format you want it to save in. So if you want to print your work or maybe share it online, then you'll probably want to save it as a JPEG. So in the format section, I'm going to change this down to JPEG. I'm also gonna change where I'm saving it. We'll go ahead and just save this to the desktop. And Photoshop even reminds me that this file must be saved as a copy when I choose this selection. So now when I click save, this is going to basically create a JPEG copy of it, put it on the desktop, but I'm gonna stay inside of my PSD file. So I'll go ahead and click Save. Now I have a few other options here. I typically tend to keep everything default and I also make sure that the quality is set to 12. Uh, it's gonna make the file size a little bit larger, but I'm usually okay with that. I want my photographs to look their very best. I'll go ahead and click OK. So that saved the JPEG and now we're still inside of that PSD file. Let me go ahead and open up the JPEG so you can see what that looks like in comparison to the PSD file. So now I have the JPEG file open. This is the one that I just saved. The image preview looks identical to the PSD file, except it's a little bit different over in the layers panel. All I have is one flattened file and that's my background layer. Now, if I were going to share this online, another thing I would probably want to do is resize the file. If I go up to image, image size, this is where I get to see the file size of my photograph. Now what you change this to is really up to you. You may be uploading it somewhere that has specific guidelines for a width and a height, or you may even have a specific guideline for an actual image size, not the dimensions, but the amount of megabytes inside of that image. And that's gonna show you up here what it's pretty much gonna be once you save your file. For me, when I share my photographs online, typically, uh, let's say for my blog, for example, I tend to resize the long edge to 2000 pixels. So in this case, I will set the width to 2000. Now, when I change that width, typically what happens is the height changes with it. But for some reason, I have it set to not uh, stay proportional. So if this happens to you, and it's possible that it might, Go ahead and check on this little link icon. This is going to constrain those proportions. So if I change the width, it's going to proportionally change the height. So I'm gonna try that again. I'll type 2000 for my width, and now it's looking a little bit more like it should. Also for sharing an image online, I'm gonna keep that resolution at 72, and I just keep the resample to automatic, so that's not really something you have to worry about. Okay, I'll go ahead and click OK on this. And now you can see I have a much smaller image. I'll bring this into my full size. So this is at 100%. So it is still a fairly good size photograph, but it's sized appropriately for sharing on the web. Now I would just save this file to finalize those changes. Thank you so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this down the road.